Gigan is obviously one male who can be relied upon not to step on his partner's feet. In the 1950s, this is how we imagined robots would be like in the future. But 60 years on, this is how they've turned out. It looks like a toy car, but actually it's an intelligent robot that can see and learn. It's navigating its way through this obstacle course all on its own. Okay, ant number 18. And here's the ant they're based on. The research team spent several weeks studying it in Spain. And based on what they learned, this is what they built. A robot that can make its way through rough terrain. This is an ant's eye view of the world. As you can see, the picture is coarse and rather simplified. Even so, it's an awful lot of visual data. And it's been a complete mystery as to how a creature with the brain the size of a pinhead can process that amount of information. If you've ever tried to build a robot yourself, you can't help but be amazed when you now look at an animal, even a very simple animal, and how well it interacts with the world, how many competencies it has, how compact it is, how low power it is, how robust it is. We can't build anything like that, so there's, there's a lot we can learn. In Chicago, researchers are developing robot fish. A camera on it shows how it's avoiding these colored obstacles. It uses electric fields, rather like radar, to sense its surroundings. In murky waters, it could be used to assess damage in oil spills, where it's dangerous for divers and where cameras can't see. The inspiration is a group of organisms, uh, a group of fish that live in uh, the rivers of the Amazon. And those rivers are very, very murky. Uh, so as a, as a result, they've had to evolve a different way to sense. It seems that increasingly, robot builders are drawing their inspiration from the animal kingdom. So no robot servants to look after us in the foreseeable future. And some may say, thank goodness. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, Chicago.